How to Balance Chemical Equations by Audrey Sayer Before we start balancing anything, we should figure out what chemical equations are. Chemical equations represent the changes in body and energy that occur during a chemical reaction. The first step in balancing a chemical reaction is to translate the written equation into a chemical formula. The equation we're going to use today is zinc metal reacting with lead nitrate to yield zinc nitrate and lead. Zinc can be written as Zn and lead nitrate can be written as PbNO subscript 3 in parentheses 2. Zinc nitrate is ZnNO subscript 3 in parentheses 2 and lead is Pb. Now for step 2. Count how many atoms are present on both sides of the equation. Now that we have our chemical equation, we can better visualize how many atoms are present. There is one zinc atom on the reactant side, which is the left in green. There are two atoms of nitrate and one atom of lead. Then on the product side, there is one zinc atom and two nitrate atoms and one lead atom. As you can see, there are the same amount of each atom on both sides. This means that this equation is balanced. Now that we know that our equation is balanced, it's time to classify it as single displacement. This can be written as AB plus C yields AC plus B. And you can see that with our equation up above. If you're comparing the single displacement equation with ours, you'll notice that Zn is the C, A is the lead, and B is the nitrate. Notice how nitrate always pairs up with another atom and leaves one by itself. And now you're done. Thanks for watching.